So what am I doing with my left hand? Probably seems complicated, probably seems difficult, but I'm gonna very quickly show you why it's not. So let me know if this sounds familiar. Do you ever struggle when you're playing solo piano to know what to do with your left hand? Do you ever feel like the only thing you can figure out how to do is either play like a nice rooted shape or just play some rootless voicings? Because I struggled with that for many, many years and I think I have some really simple answers that you can directly apply to your playing right away. Now, of course, if you are new here, please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any more information like this. And if you already know me and my content, please hit the like button. It really, really helps me and the channel to grow. All right, let's talk about this. All right, step number one. Let's just take a look at the most common shape. One, three, seven. So I'm playing the tune, It Could Happen to You. So let's just look at the first few bars. We got E flat major, and then we have G half diminished seven to C seven. We got F minor, A half diminished seven to D seven, back to E flat major. So if we just do these little boring one, three, seven shapes, it works great. On the two, five, we just lower the seven and it becomes actually over C, it becomes five flat seven, three. All right, so next up, we're going to actually turn this into essentially two different little rhythmic pieces. So we're gonna have the pinky and then the other two notes. We're gonna work on some different little rhythmic patterns here. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. Now obviously when you're actually doing this, you're not gonna always just do the same little pattern. So let's try it with a little something different, a little bit more changing dynamic comping. Okay, let's add in the right hand. Okay, so we're actually getting a little bit more dynamic and interesting with the left hand. It's already sounding pretty good, pretty decent, and we're still just using these super basic, honestly, arguably very boring voicings. Next shape that you absolutely must know is one, seven, three. And then on this minor, we got one flat seven, flat three, and we just bring that flat seven down to the three of the next chord, which is a C seven, right? So we basically got one, seven, three, this first E flat major. Then we do same shape, right? The one, seven, three, in this case, flat, seven, flat, three, because it's a minor chord. And then we switch to our basic one, three, flat, seven shape. So one, seven, three shape. And then here we switch to the one, three, seven shape. Same pattern here. And we can then add some dynamism. And we get these really nice left hand comping patterns and movements, all based on these very basic shapes. Just wanna give a quick shout out to Casio, who I'm very excited to be working with nowadays. They sent over this PXS 6000 keyboard, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's got these touch buttons, it's so minimal. These really interesting stands that make it much more visually appealing. And they even put the detail of having these nice wooden panels on it and literal wood on the sides of the keys themselves. So overall, I am falling more and more in love with this keyboard every single day. And I just wanted to give them and this keyboard a shout out because I think it's a beautiful instrument and you all should know about it if you don't already. If you're interested in learning more about it, feel free to click the link in the description. That way they will know that, hey, you saw this on my channel and I will get a very small commission if you do ultimately decide to purchase one. Okay, now the final step I wanna show you, again, it's crazy, only three steps here and already it's gonna make such a huge difference, is actually just the technique of slamming a bass note and then comping with your left hand.
So I don't know if you noticed what I actually ended up doing there. I started combining all three of these techniques. So I'm gonna sometimes smash a bass note and comp a normal left hand rootless voicing. And then I might switch to this shape. by combining all three of those techniques and practicing some different rhythms, suddenly we have this amazing dynamic left hand that sounds very, very professional, even though the concepts are actually very, very simple. All right, if you're new here, make sure you click subscribe so you don't miss any more videos or information just like what you've seen here today. And if you got a lot out of this video, please hit that like button, it really, really helps me out. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.